we'll just kind of do a quick walk around here and I'll show you the property, the hotel, and I'll show you the hotel room. Now I'm going to apologize, I, is, uh, I have been here since yesterday, so yesterday and today, a little two-day trip here at Kingman, taking a look at all the Route 66 stuff, and, uh, and I've done so much, and then last night I just kind of fell asleep, and I didn't do this video, so I'm getting it done now. Take a look at the big Route 66 side here, in the middle of the road. But let me tell you the history of this uh, property, El Travatare. Show you the little tower in the back there, that little old derrick thing that has it on here. Now this property has some Las Vegas ties, which is where I'm from if you're new to the channel. Let me, uh, let me read this to you. So Travatare is, a, is Italian for troubadour or traveler. Developer John F. Miller, built the Nevada Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, which was later named as South Again, which is Las Vegas spelled backwards. Today, I'm going to add this, like, not in here. Today, that hotel is known as the Golden Gate Hotel, which is on 1 Fremont Street. And that hotel was built in 1906. And right after the railroad there, it's like, uh, kind of developed the Las Vegas into a town. So, he uh, built that hotel, they ran the hotel. He moved to Kingman, Arizona in 1935 after Hoover Dam was completed and purchased the, this motel site right here. I'll show you around here. And uh, built, a, built this motel. This motel also had at one time a service station, auto court, and cafe. So it was a true, um, you know, I almost want to say a truck stop, you know, a traveler stop. It's like uh, it had everything that you would need along here on Route 66. It's like, uh, it says a rest stop for travelers. Having heating and air conditioning in the rooms was luxurious for its time. Uh, many celebrities have stayed here, including Jeff Chandler, Charles Bronson, Jane Russell, James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, Clark Gable, and Don Knotts. So now I'm just going to kind of show you around here a little bit and show you the property. I am staying, my theme of my room is the James Dean room. You know, because I'm such a rebel. And so if you see that, it says world's longest Route 66 map. Well, it's all along the side of the building here. See, it starts down there at the end where it's Santa Monica Pier in California. Then it runs all the way through. You see Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and then up until Illinois there. Take a look at all this uh, artwork along all the motel buildings here. I mean, we even have uh, Mr. Magoo over there. We have Yosemite Sam and Bugs Buddy, Olive Oil, Porky Pig. I mean, how cool is that, huh? And then they made this look like it's a little train station here. Uh, this property does have a, uh, a laundry inside the property, so you, if you're traveling a long trip, you can come to do your laundry. If you're sitting here. See the last part of the map there, Kansas, Missouri. There's still not there, Springfield, Missouri. And then on into Illinois, Chicago. Little Steve McQueen artwork there. And then right there, there's a little artwork from Santa Monica Pier. Says the end of the road, driven by Mr. Magoo.
All right, so this room here, like I said, stayed two nights. I booked it as the cheapest room that they had at this property, and it ran me uh, $99 per night. Now that's with the sales tax and everything. Actually, my total actually came to $198. So that's like kind of the upper end of what I will spend for a motel or hotel. I'll be honest with you. It's like I just wanted to come here and kind of enjoy the history of the hotel of what the hotel had. But uh, let me show you my James Dean room. I apologize. It's like the thing. The bed's gonna look a little ruffled. And it's like I said. It's like I did stay here last night and tonight. And there it is. The. Uh, James Dean room. Now the room does come with a refrigerator and a microwave. Miss Lopez, I've heard so much about you. I've only been here a couple sorry, of weeks. I was watching the, I was watching the TV the there, so sorry about that. But uh, this is it. Room has a shower, no bathtub. You know, it's a typical uh, 1930s room. It's small. It is. Uh, uh, yeah, the bathroom's small also. It has a couple of different... Uh, let me uh, turn this TV off here. Sorry about that. I meant to do that before I started the video. There's me. Hi, everybody. It has a couple of different closet spaces. And then I think the original closet here from the 1930s. I thought this was kind of funny. The trash can is Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Uh, but this is it. This is uh, my room. Like I said, with tax and everything, it cost me about a hundred bucks a night. So, um, was it worth it? Well, for the history and everything of what I wanted to see and whatever. And being a part of history and staying in a place, uh, you know, that's been in business for, you know, what, 90 years, basically. Uh, maybe. It's like, uh, if you're just a traveler, probably not. You know, if you're not into the history part of it, it's, it's probably not, to be honest with you. Uh, the motel that I stayed in at Barstow on Route 66 was about half the price, uh, more or less anyway. And, uh, you know, and that room was, uh, that room was kind of nicer, to be honest with you. But, uh, hey, it's an okay room. I mean, the bed's very comfortable. Two things, it's like uh, if there was a negative drawback, number one, the shower, uh, the water was warm, not hot. The second thing was, it's like the, uh, uh, internet. The internet is almost non-existent. They do have it. Uh, if you sign in and you're looking to do stuff on the internet, uh, you're probably not going to use the internet here because it keeps fading in and out. And it's not... Uh, oh, the birds fly by. It's, uh, it keeps fading in and out. It's not real strong. So, but all right, there you go. I appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Right behind that sign there is the pool. Uh, right now there's no water in it because it's still... Uh, pretty chilly uh, for this time of the year so but thank you very much for joining me I greatly appreciate it uh, please leave me a thumbs up I greatly appreciate that uh, please uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that it helps my ego out and let's eBay know that they're eBay <laughs> that's pretty funny let's YouTube know that uh, your voice matters and my voice matters take care everybody bye bye